What's up everybody? Today I'm going to let you in on the best recessed lighting you can buy in 2019. This product can be bought online, has amazing reviews, and I installed them myself in both my living room and my master bedroom with zero electrical experience. I'm going to break down their benefits and show you exactly where you can buy them and I have another video that will show you how to install them so please subscribe. So here's everything I need, the casing um, and then the uh, actual lights themselves. I got these LED Sunco lights. Let's check them out. So this is the first time I'm seeing these lights, just like you. They seem to be packaged pretty well, as you can see, and they include everything you need. Here's what they look like from the side, and you can see everything in there. Now it's time to open the cans. Instructions, what are those? I have YouTube for that. Cool. Very nice though, I mean, it's heavy material, it's metal, okay. Very nice, very nice. Quick plug adapter. A lot of quick connects here. This is really cool. Wow. So here are all the pieces you will need. I have all of this in the description with the links of the products and it's so easy. So first and foremost, you'll need the light cans. These are four inch cans that are IC rated, which means you can stick these straight into the insulation without any fire danger. Again, they're made out of a really heavy duty metal. They feel, they feel heavy duty anyways. All right, so far as what this provides for you. So you have this quick connect here for your actual recessed light. So once you have these in the ceiling, you can just hook your light up directly to them. Real easy, just a snap. As far as the wires you'll need, so the wires that'll come through your ceiling, Romex cables probably, um, whatever gauge you'll need. These wires themselves are 14 gauge. You have a green for ground, the white for neutral, and the black for the hot wire. And look at this just snap them in there. There's these little holes, let's see if it'll focus. Oh, there you go. So you just have those three holes there. So you have two extra holes. What you'll do, I'll show you in a little bit, you just connect one wire coming in, the main power source, into one wire, into one hole, and then the cable going to the next can into the third hole. And then you just keep doing that over and over and over again to however many recess lights you, uh, your load can handle, and however many you want. So when doing this, before starting, I actually knock out these two knockout holes. Um, you have quite a few here to choose from, whichever ones work for your setup. I've been knocking out these two top ones here, which are half inch diameter. And I'll buy these little wire connectors here. And what you do is you punch those into there, into the empty holes, and this will grab onto your wire so it doesn't fall out. So here's the four inch LED light itself. All packaged up, let me open this up for you. This is what it'll be sticking into the can. So it's very, very slick looking, very streamlined. Has this little padding here to um, keep some of the air from coming into your house. And then again, the quick connect there. So these are 2700K lumens, which is pretty standard for most homes. It looks a little natural and it matches most of the lighting in my house that I already have. And then lastly, you'll just need a light switch. Uh, these do not come with the light switch at all. You can use the one that you currently have in your house already. I chose to go with the dimmer since I got recessed lighting and I'm putting it in my living room. I thought it'd be kind of cool to set the mood when we're watching a movie or something. Um, these are pretty cool. They're like 20 or 30 bucks online. They have the wires here already for you. They're already even stripped. Um, these are pretty simple to hook up as well. These are also Wi-Fi. So check these out. I'll have these in the description too. They're one of the better rated ones I was able to find. And lastly, you'll need the actual Romex wire, whatever branded wire you plan on using. 
I'm not an electrician, but I do know some of the basics on it. I got a 12-2 gauge wire for my setup because I had 20 amp switches on my breaker. If you have a 15 amp um, switch on your breaker, then you may be want wanting to run a 14-2 uh, gauge wire. That you'll have to discuss with your electrician or look up somewhere else if you're looking to um, get in more in details on that stuff. By the way, I got this all quoted to um, get hooked up by my electrician. I already had the holes punched in. I already had all of this equipment purchased except for the wire itself. And the electrician quoted me $1,900. There's no way. That's literally all it is. I installed all of this for about $200 in both of my rooms. $200 total for two rooms. It made the biggest transformation I have ever done in this house. And we've had new siding, we've had new cabinets, all kinds of things. This by far has gone the longest way for the cheapest amount too. Go to the description down below to find these exact products. Please subscribe if you want to watch the installation video or follow any of my other projects. 